morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone across the globe. This is your boy Greasy, and I'm here today with my voice because this video is a really special one. This is the 10,000 subscribers special Q&A or question and answer. So I have received a lot of questions from you guys on the post that I've made around three weeks ago on my YouTube channel, and I want to say thank you so much for all of you guys who have given me all the interesting questions. Uh, and today I'm here to answer some of them for you guys. But if your questions are not answered today in this video, make sure to comment them down below because I will try my best to answer all of them for you guys. Okay? Also, while you guys are here, make sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button if you haven't because it really helps out the channel big time. And without further ado, let's jump to the first question. This is probably one of the most frequently asked questions. Who is Chris's GT? Okay, so I guess I'll start with a short introduction. My name is Louis. I live in a small city named Pontianak, located in the West Borneo province of Indonesia. I'm currently 18 years old, and I'm studying in a university for my bachelor degree in computer science. Okay, so this is also one of the most popular questions out there. How to be more patient when breaking blocks? Now, as we know, farming and breaking blocks is a really repetitive work. It is also stressful and tough because we're doing the same thing over and over again until the point when we're stressed out. Now, I believe that everyone has their own way to solve this problem, but personally for me, I love listening to music and having someone to break with me. Now, the key here is to make this activity less boring and less repetitive. So if you have someone who help you, you can talk with him, you can chit chat off this nonsense that makes you happy, and if you are happy, you will not feel bored, and if you are not bored, you can break for a longer time and you can finish your mask faster, that means you will get a lot of more warlocks in your pocket in no time. But again, as I said before, everyone has their own way, so my best advice for you is to find your own style and enjoy it. Okay, so this one is kind of hard to answer because there is no such thing as the best or the absolute best things to mask in Grotopia. So most of the time, it really depends on the situation. For example, uh, a really great mask that gives a lot of diamond locks for today might not be the best one for tomorrow because uh, the item value might have dropped significantly in just one day. We never know. So um, make sure to check out all the price before you uh, do the mask because if not, then we'll lose a lot of warlocks. Well, the answer to the question is pretty obvious, so yeah, we were good friends. Um, we actually go to the same school, uh, and we and we're actually in the same class for like a few years. I think it was like 3 years or something. Also, we used to hang out in the coffee shop with uh, some other friends uh, every Saturday night. So we play games together usually, and yeah, it was a really great time, but of course we don't do it now because of the pandemic. But yeah, we had a great time, and overall he's a really good friend. Okay, so one of the most important thing when you want to decide which item to mask is to look at the demand. So you want to look for something that has high demand, but the price is also stable previously. Some examples of these items are like toxic waste barrel, acid seeds, and also military radio seeds because they are used to make science station. And science stations are needed in a huge amount to produce a lot of profits for the farmer. The chemicals are needed to make fuel packs, so it is really a long a process of getting profit, so everyone benefits from it. That's why people keep making science station, and it is also the reason why those three items are really great to mask. One other thing to remember is to avoid mask that needs a long time to complete unless the items are just really stable in demand for a long long time. The reason behind this is that by the time you finish the mask, the trend might have gone down or maybe the price has really gone low to the point where you cannot even gain back all the warlocks you have spent on the mask, which means that you will lose a lot of warlocks which yourself will never want. It feels really great to be able to help a lot of Grotopians out there because I've seen a lot of Grotopians struggling to get even just a few warlocks so they ended up getting bullied by other richer players and I'm here to guide you guys so that you guys can earn your own warlock and stop begging from other people stop doing all illegal stuff like casino and such thing 
uh, I'm here to prove that even with mask, uh, the easiest thing to do, well, probably not the easiest, but one of the most simple way to earn warlocks, and you can actually earn a lot of warlocks from it. And I just want to say that if you have a lot of warlocks, spend them all for fun, use them all uh, to buy your own dream set, build a good world. Don't just focus on the warlocks itself, focus on the socialization because Grotopia is a social game. It is not just a business game, okay? Next question, what is my biggest secret in Grotopia? Actually, I have one secret, well, maybe not a secret, it's more like one regret. Um, that is, I sold the word by glow. Yes, you hear it correctly, by glow for 15 warlocks. I repeat, 15 warlocks, 10 plus 5 warlocks, 15 warlocks. Yes, I know how horrible it sounds, but Please don't roast me because I was just a noob when it happens. I I I uh, I don't know. Uh, can, can we just just jump into the next question, please? To be completely honest, I don't know. Um, I might I might warn you guys to vote again. But if you have any idea, then put them down below so I can read them. Uh, so I can think about it. Okay. So the story is that. Back in 2017, I can't seem to find uh, a lot of great content creator when it comes to massing for Grotopia. And last year, I figured out that I'm actually pretty good at it. So why not share my knowledge with all the other Grotopians so that they can utilize this knowledge to get their own warlocks instead of doing something illegal. Also, I'm, I'm inspired by my friend GameNet GT who also make profit videos. I'll put the link to his channel in the pinned comment and make sure to check it out. Um, yeah, uh, so back in 2014, just two weeks after I started playing Grotopia, I and some of my friends, we decided to host a drop game. Back then, we didn't know it was illegal, so we just think that it is a really fast way of getting Warlock, so uh, we hosted a drop game and we scammed a red dragon from someone that I banned him because I was the owner, and um, I don't know, I kind of feel bad, but at the same time, I don't. Um, it was more like a funny memories. Um, I, I don't actually keep the warlocks. I gave it all to my friends. I don't know why. I think because I felt bad for that person that I don't want to take any of his warlocks. So please don't report me, guys. I want to make. I want to keep making content for you guys. So basically, I will keep making videos as long as. Uh, people are still watching and I think I'm still able to give you guys all the great content I usually make and so if you want me to keep making videos make sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button if you haven't because it as I said before it helps big big time so yeah you can expect me to give you a lot more uh, private videos and private methods for like I don't know a few years to come probably Okay, so the next question is, what does Grizzis mean? Okay, so, uh, Grizzis does not have any special meaning. So, when I was in a guild named Win, um, it was a really great guild. Uh, we compete in the first or first and second guild clash, where I got two legendary branch items. And, yeah, one of my clan members, sorry, one of my clan mates, uh, he started this trend where he and some other members changed their name with Z's ending, ZYZ ending. So I followed them and um, my grow ID was Golderot, so I shortened it up to GR, stands for Golderot. GR plus ZYZ is Grizzis. And yeah, that's how I get my name Grizzis till now. So there are many of you who have been asking me about uh, this question. When will I do face reveal? When will I be using webcam or face cam or something? The problem is that I don't have a face cam and my PC is still shitty. So yeah, uh, one day I will be do I will be doing it maybe uh, when the time is right. But this is not a promise. So I'll see what I can do. But uh, don't be sad if I can't do it. Okay. Okay, I know this is just for fun, so yeah, 
I'm not gay, obviously, okay? I'm just a normal person. Uh, yeah, I don't really have this uh, this type of disorder. Uh, maybe Gaming has it, I don't know. But for me, no, no. I'm a normal person, okay? Just like all of you guys. Alright everyone, I think that'll be just it for this video. If you like this type of video with my voiceover, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't. Also, turn on the notification bell so you won't miss out any of my videos because next video is gonna be great. I'll be finishing um, the 15,000 paint bucket trees and the profit will be just amazing. Also, thank you all for the, all the interesting questions. I hope I can answer almost all of the questions. Remember, if, you, if your question is not yet answered, make sure to comment them down below. I will try my best to answer all of them for you guys. Just don't ask me about all the sensitive things. Uh, probably normal things like uh, what do I do or what, whatever. Just not something that's sensitive like religion or something, okay? But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll be back in the next video. Oh yeah, also if you like this type of video, comment down below. Tell me which part is your favorite and I'll be making this type of video more frequently, maybe, who knows? Right, have a nice day. See ya everybody. Peace gang.